this recording, I'm going to set up a um, scanner folder for a Fuji Xerox uh, DocuCenter APIOS port Mark 4C2270, 75, 3370, 75, 4470, 75, 5570, 75, all that series. And um, yeah, so let's go. First thing we need to do, we need to set up an authentication uh, to log on, the device to log on to the Windows PC. So we'll go in here and set up a user. Um, user. I'm going to call it Scanner. Password. Typically I set up a password with uppercase, lowercase and some numbers. Something that's not too easy. Alrighty, so we've now got our authentication logon set up. So I'm going to create a folder, which is going to be a parent folder for multiple um, users. And so, and I'll this will make more sense in the video, the next part of this video. But uh, I'm going to show you how you can set up multiple users. Um, through the GUI. Now, now I need to just check because Windows did a update, well they've done a few updates, but one of the updates they did change some settings. So we need to go into the Windows turn features on and off and just need to check that the SMB1 client is switched on. That will most likely be switched off. That needs to be switched on in order for the device to authenticate back to our uh, Windows device. So that's the end of part one. All right, so we've set up our user authentication, our shared folder, and now we're going to create a, uh, a single profile in the scan documents. And how are we going to do that? We're going to log in to admin mode, which is five ones, which is the standard Fuji Xerox. And then we're gonna browse the network. We should be able to see this add address book thing over here, which in a second, we're going to um, add our authentication logon, which was scanner and the password. And then we're in, so we've locked, there's our file. So there's our file there. I'm gonna go down one, we're gonna get Bob, go down one more, add address book entry, and we're gonna call this one Bob. Okay. And hopefully, if we've done that all properly, we should now have Scanning at 100%. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go into the GUI on a browser. I'm just using Google Chrome here. And 192.168.1.150 is our machine. Address book. It'll ask for a password, username and password. So we've got five ones and then X hyphen admin or dash. That's the standard login. There's the profile we populated before on the machine. Um, let's add that. And what we're going to do now, we're going to export that data. So export it out. And there's the file there. You know, I've done this a couple of times before, that's why it's number four. I'm going to just move this down a few and we're going to drag down these other ones and the ones that we created previously under the parent folder 
which were Jane and Mary. So I'm going to put Jane, Mary, we'll just move that up there. So now we're going to hide these columns. Hide that. I can drag this information here. So Got is basically there's our SMB, the um, server machine, the folder it's going into. Sorry, the um, the user logon. The password's now been encrypted, and there's the folder it's going into, the shared folder, and there's the final destination. So let's just grab all this information here. down and then we're going to make that, that one and then save it. So yes, save, yes, yes, yes and then we're going to, even though it says here exported files cannot be imported after they've been edited it's a bit of a tricky one. Sometimes it doesn't want to play the game, sometimes it does. I've found with Google Chrome it seems to be working okay at the moment, but next time it'll probably not want to work, who knows. Anyway, play around with that one. So that was the one there. I'm going to import it. Yes, the machine will reboot automatically. So the machine is now rebooting and we will now have those other folders populated on the machine. Okay, let's see how we went with the scan folder population. But before we do that, let's just have a look at some of the scan settings we've currently got. Log into administrator mode, uh, scan sending services, scan defaults. So we've got it set to color scan for auto detect. So what that'll do it will read color page and a black and white page individually. So that's what we want. Photo text will give you high resolution. Text is usually fine. We obviously want it set to PDF. Um, upright images is what we want on. And typically I'll set them to 300 dpi. That's a, a fairly good resolution without making the file too large. So let's just jump out of admin mode. All right, so let's have a look at our scan folders. And there's our folders that we've put in, which we updated before. And see what that. It's gone, all done. So we've scanned our document through to our shared folder, Bob in our scan documents and the first page has come through as color, it's detected as a color and the rest of the pages have come through black and white, multi-page, PDF, it's around about a bit over a meg that file and that's it, that's how you set up your scan to folder, Windows 10 for Fuji Xerox Mark IV color photocopier. Thanks for watching.